Hello everyone and welcome back once again to CareerQ, a place to curate your career. In my previous videos, I have talked all about cognizant technology solutions and I have talked all about how much you can expect, how your salary growth will take place within the organization. And in these two videos, I have also talked about the two different programs that Cognizant is holding. One is the internship program and the another one is the continuous skill development or the CSD program. Now, many of you have been asking to make videos in detail about, uh, you know, what these two programs are and, you know, defining these two programs. What are the differences, major differences and how to proceed or which one to proceed with. So here in today's video, I will be talking all about this CSD program and I'll be further continuing the series in which I'll also make several other videos explaining the internship program and some more. So without a further ado, let's get started. So the continuous skill development program or the CSD program is a part-time program that will be given to you when you are in the 8th semester. Yes, you have, uh, you know, received the offer. You have been told, you have been selected in, on campus and you have been told that now uh, you will be receiving the offer once you complete uh, your college successfully. After that, in your 8th semester, they will ask you to fill in uh, whether you want to go ahead with the internship program or the CSD program. Okay, this is something that you will decide. So, make sure that you know both the facets, both uh, about both these programs and then you select uh, which one you want to go further with. Okay. So in the CSD program, if you look into it, then this CSD program has been moduled in such a way that you will be able to do it at your own will, in your own free time and at your flexibility. Okay, there is no classroom training that will happen. You will be provided by a set of modules, okay, and you need to complete it within the given timeline. So you will be provided with a set of modules and you will be provided with a schedule or a curriculum or a, a deadline list in which, you know, it will be written that, okay, this module has to be completed by this and then you have to do a quiz or maybe give an exam. So everything will be clearly mentioned in whatever, uh, you know, schedule you will be provided with, okay? All you need to do is to strictly follow that schedule. You cannot play around with it. If you want your offer to remain valid and if you want to get an offer letter once you've completed your eighth semester and you've completed this training, then you need to be a hell of serious with this program and you need to complete all the modules and not just that. You have to complete them within the given time limit. Yes, you have to meet the deadlines. You have to give the deliverables in the scheduled time, within the time that they have told you to give, okay? If you are somehow not meeting the deadlines, then it will actually impact both uh, your onboarding and of course on your performance and then this will eventually impact the technology that you are going to get, okay? So, you know, the impact will be long and it will actually, it might decide your trajectory. So, that is why... I would suggest that don't take it lightly. Try to complete everything on time. Now, say for example, you have done something and you are getting stuck somewhere, okay? So, what do you do now? Do you, uh, are you left just there uh, and you have no one to help, uh, you have no one to go to for help? Then let me tell you that that is not how uh, this thing has been, you know, organized. There will be several doubt clearing sessions from the subject matter experts, from people who are working within the organization or even other professionals, experts, uh, they will be holding doubt sessions and they have or they will be giving you some links, some email IDs from where you can send your doubt that, you know, you are facing an issue with this kind of a program or this uh, sum or this theory, whatever. And there will be someone to help you for sure. So, you know, all you need to do is when you are getting stuck at a place, 
you need to raise it to you know the people in cognizant you cannot be like okay i was stuck and i could not do it further and that is why i stopped or i did not complete this because you know i did it and now it's giving an error so i could not complete it so i have left it there no that will not be heard because they have uh, clearly mentioned that they will be providing uh experts and they'll be providing with all the help that you need provided you have raised a request for it so you need to raise a request at the right time such that you don't cross your deadline okay so now let's come on to the technology that you will be learning in this program so this program is actually based on uh, the most recent technologies that is you will be taught java you will be taught .net and you will be taught data uh, databases data skills that is uh, you know pl sql uh, those things you will be taught in this uh, program okay now there are some people who have this doubt that whether you will be getting paid then the answer to it is no i have discussed it previously as well i'll tell you i'm telling you again you will not receive any stipend for this program uh once you get your offer letter after that whatever is your salary you will be receiving that but when you are in this uh, period of doing this program this uh, training you will not receive any stipend the good part about this is that you do not need to you know attend some something live that is going on or you do not need to go somewhere to do it right you can do it sitting at your hostel your home your own room and you can complete it at your own will whenever you are comfortable you know today you have some lectures tomorrow you have some exam or uh, day after tomorrow you have some lab submission so you cannot finish it in this week so you need to finish it over the weekend yeah and you have that liberty to you know finish these things within the timeline of course but at your own will now why is this program so important and will it actually impact in the future then yes i've already said this and let me tell you again that you know the domain in which you will be going whether it is an obsolete technology or it's a niche technology something that is very recent most in demand okay that will be decided based on your performance in these you know training that you have done or there will be some code challenges there will be some quizzes there will be webinars workshops you need to attend each of them and you need to be active you need to complete all those challenges and your performance in all those challenges and quiz and uh, boot camps or whatever they are holding the, the performance will be evaluated and analyzed later and this will actually decide on which technology they are going to put you into once you join cognizant also your date of joining and when you will get onboarded this will also depend on your performance if you have performed very good if you were exceptional you have met all the deadlines then they'll be dying to have you right and if you have you know missed deadlines and you have a poor record then they'll be like okay we can uh, you know delay this onboarding for a little while as well so i know that nobody wants that everyone wants to get onboarded as soon as they leave the college so try to be proactive with this training and you will be good to go last but not the least many people have this doubt that you know once i have completed uh, i have taken in this program and i have completed the entire training but i don't want to join now i have a better offer and i want to go there so uh, can i go and join the other organization or do i need to join cognizant because i have undergone this training valid question but the answer to it is no you need not join cognizant after completing this uh, training of yours it is not at all mandatory there is no bond that cognizant gives so you know it is actually a plus point i'm not saying go and do that uh, but you know if you are getting a very good offer that you don't want to uh, reject at all then there is no bound or you do not need to mandatorily join cognizant just because you have undergone this training okay you can at any time uh decide which organization you want to go with 
So that's all that I have for you in today's video. I hope that I've been able to clear a lot of doubts and a lot of queries, questions that you guys must be having about this CSD program. And I hope that this has given you as much insight as you require so that you are able to make the most correct decision for your career. I will be bringing another video in which I will be explaining about the internship program that uh, Cognizant is having uh, such that you are better able to make this decision. And if there is anything that, you know, I have missed out or if there's anything that you guys uh, want to know more about, put them down in the comment section and I will come again tomorrow with another new video. Till then, stay tuned to Career Q. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.